I used to love coming from behind and yeah. watch the opposition, you know. And uh, you must remember, it all depends on the pace of the race, you know. Uh, you know, I like stereotype jockeys to me is, you know, people accept when you sit in the first three in a race yes. and the horse got beat. beat. Whereas, the, yes. they haven't analysed the pace, pace of the race. race. Where that was been, say, another five, six lengths, yeah. it could have been a difference. As With me, we have the man of the moment, uh, the person everybody wants to talk to, Michael Roberts, who has the current Antipas favourite, see it again, for the Hollywood bets, Durban July. Michael, thank you for coming on. Good morning, Andrew. We're going to test you here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're testing. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, let's get back to uh, right at the beginning when you rode super quality to win the July, because you're one of the few trainers, well, recently anyway, uh, at Bert Abercrombie and, and David Payne to have ridden and hopefully win. Yes, you know, uh, I must be honest with you, you know, riding in the UK and uh, was committed to, st uh, to, uh, to, to stable, say, with retainer, you know, so it was very difficult for me to come to ride in the July. It was obviously, you know, you know, it's, you know, it's our race, like uh, the Epsom yes. Derby in mm. England and Melbourne Cup in Australia or wherever you want to go. But uh, I was, uh, so, I always wanted to win the July. Obviously, that's every, everybody's dream. You know, it rides in South Africa. You know, you win, it would have been a bit of a race. thing. Eleven times South African champion and, and didn't not, get a July and not, and, and I've I've had some brilliant rides and good horses in the July, and things just didn't fall my way. And uh, so, whenever I got a chance to sneak away, you know, I thought of let me pop over. So um, this one day, um, uh, my agent here, Nigel Birds, phoned me up and said, "I think I found you a July horse." I was called North by Northwest, you know, and I, s I said to him that, uh, well, I haven't got anything for the Coral Eclipse because that's, you know, the same right, day same as Coral Eclipse, yeah. you know, the group one in, at Sandown. And uh, so I got all excited. He said, you know, he'll probably be a started favourite, you know, he's running in the Daily News and then, you know, we'll take it from there. And I'll never forget the night I got back from the races and Verna, I think I was quite late coming back and she, she used to leave all my messages for work in the morning by the phone. And I see the phone David Ferraris. So I gave him a call and I said, you know, and I asked him what's going on. He said, I've got some bad news for you. Um, um, Waishong has decided to switch now back to, uh, from super quality to north by northwest because he just won the uh, daily, news. daily news that day. So, so I said, all right, so he said, but you know, if you don't want to come, I understand. But I said to him, no, look, yeah, uh, I want to come because, you know, obviously I had my farm and everything, sure. and I, you know, I still like it, and I've, and I've made arrangements already. So, in any case, so I got on the plane and we came back. And you hadn't sat on super quality before? No, uh, all David said to me in this ring, you know, Gravel, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you much, there's not much to tell you. And just make sure, you know, when you go for your run, you know, that he's, you're trying to bring him away from horses on the outside. And when I saw this little horse in the parading and they gave me a leg up and I thought, oh, crikey, what a waste of trip. Because <laughs> I promise you, he was so small. And there wasn't much, eh? there wasn't No, oh, yeah. he was a tiny little fellow. And then uh, I asked, the, you know, the, the groom leading him around, what do you, if you put some money on him, you know, just for a bit of confidence. And he said, no, boss, I've backed uh, north by northwest. But I must say, when I cantered him down, geez, I, you know, he nearly ran away with me going down to the start. And as I pulled up, I remember I pulled up next to Garth Pula and I said, Garth, I don't know what this has got in him, but geez, he felt good coming down. Yeah, and so, yeah, but you always, I mean, we riding all those good horses in England. Yes. You would have known what, yes, what was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, felt, he, he felt special coming down. And, you know, had a bit of a rough passage to early part of the race, but coming up the hill, I was cruising. And uh, the, then when I looked to my left, just before the straight, I thought, oh, there's, you know, there's horses, on, you know, my outside all the way. And I thought, geez, I must, I must try to get him out. And I pulled him out, you know, off the fence. So, so I couldn't get boxed in because I wanted to, like, remember what Gray, um, David. Um, uh, David said to me, you know, trying to give him a clear passage. And geez, and he just took hold of the bit. And uh, about 400, I started to move on him. And then he hit the front 
just inside the, the 200 and I thought, oh, maybe a running flash into my mind, you know, you <laughs> see early. so many Julys, the, the picture changed the yeah. last 100 meters, you know, and I thought, oh, please God, just let him, let him last the last 100 meters. That was the last, last longest 100 meters I think of a race <laughs> I've run, you know, just to get that out, you know, but I must say it was probably one of my proudest moments yeah. in, you know, in racing, yeah. it was fantastic, you know. Michael, when you race riding, what do you, do you actually, the top jockeys obviously think almost every stride? Well, you know, it's, it's um, you know, Andrew race riding is, you know, it's, you know, it's like driving and in, in, in heavy traffic and, you know, how to rush, you know, you've got yes. to look for the gaps at the right time. And, and, and the, probably one of the most important things is, you know, is to know the horses that you're riding against. Because, you know, you know if you're going to follow a slow one when you need to be moving up, you know, you're not going to go anywhere, you're going to be taken back. So, you know, it's... You know, so there's a lot of brain work in a race. You know, people think for that minute or minute and a half that you're riding this, you know, it's a straightforward. You know, you've got to, you know, and all the top jobs, you know, they do their homework, you know, and, you know, they know which horse I can follow in a race or which horse, um, you know, I don't, you know, you know mustn't get behind. Get behind yeah. And uh, so, I mean, you know, any uh, top job worth his weight, you know, would, uh, would have done, an, uh, you know, analyzed the race before. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't mean if it's maiden race, you know. You know, I sat with uh, with Rachel, you know, from the beginning and, you know, I showed her, you know, what I used to do and, and you know, just to get an idea how the races go, go, go unfold. Look, uh, you know, orders change, horses running styles, you know, will get changed sometimes. So it's, uh, you know, but then obviously you've got to change with that as well on sure, top, you know, sure. that is like, yeah. you know, second decisions, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, Michael, um, let's go and get to, to Rachel. I mean, you were um, f the person to actually put him on the map. I mean, you've taken her under your wing um, and you've taught her well. Uh, yes, I mean, look, you know, she came and, you know, obviously, you know, my, you know, my, my, my clients come first. And, you know, in, in the beginning, you know, I sort of said, you know, we'll use you. And, uh, you know, and I could see, you know, from day one that, you know, you know, she, you know, she, she'll be a big advantage to my yard with the 4kg allowance, which, you know, we capitalise on that for my clients. And, you know, and uh, even today, you know, my client wants somebody else and I was we, we're very open-minded because they pay the bills, you yeah, know, straightforward, sure, sure. you know. So, uh, but, you know, we sort of, yes, you know, she, she's a stable jockey. And... Uh, well, she's done you She's proud. done well. She's done well. And, you know, the, you, the, you know, the amount of mistakes or horses that she should have won, you know, one thing about her is that, you know, she makes a mistake and she doesn't repeat it very often. Yeah. Which, yeah. you know, that's a, you know, sign a of a good, good rider, you know, that, yeah. th that she thinks about going into a race, you know, and, and, and the other thing is, you know, sometimes she's gone to the front when I didn't want more horses to go to the front and she's won and, you know, I applaud her for that because she could see the pace was going to be slow where we thought the pace was going to be hard. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, so they, use, use the initiative. Yeah. Exactly. And those, when, you know, th those little tactics, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, win races and that's, a, you know, to me, that's a sign of a good jockey winning on horses that they shouldn't have won shouldn't on. Shouldn't have won on, that's right. Or, yeah. you know, pinch races, yeah, in other words, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, or, or, you know, like I said to you, you know, if, you know, if you can put somebody in a pocket because they'll do the same to you, yeah. you know, you know, the horse that you fancy, no. you do it. You, uh, know? Sure, yeah, it, was, it, it, you know, it's race riding, you know what I mean? No, sure, I was talking to Kevin Shea the other day. Yes. And he said that half these blokes don't know what they're doing. He said, you always keep a bloke in a pocket, don't let him Well, out. exactly. I mean, you know, or let body, uh, somebody sneak up your inside. That was like, no, 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 oh, yeah. no, no, no. They, you, know, you know, we used to get sick in the jockeys if you come back. You know, even in the UK, they very much, if you, if you let somebody up your inside, and you know, <laughs> yeah. there they would actually give you a bit of space trying to, Try to go up there, and they will. Uh, they'll Shut put you the into the fence. You. They put the fence, and you know, uh, you know, even they uh, and there will be no inquiry because the, the the stewards, like in the UK, would say, you you shouldn't be you shouldn't there, coming there. outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael, um, how did it, did it come that that uh, you got Pierce Radom to ride for uh, see it again in, in the in the splash out derby? Okay, well, probably. you know, Andrew, to be honest with you, you know, uh, you know, I think Nick, Nick explained the other day, you know, after we won the Daily News on him, uh, you know, very nicely about Rachel. You know, we, you know, you know, Cape Town was a bit of a difficult track for her. And, uh, you know, Nick just spoke to me, said, listen, I, you know, I think we must use a more experienced jockey. You know, but just remember, she's only in the second, second year of apprenticeship. Year. No, sure, sure. And, and you know, Cape Town can be difficult. Yes, and, you know, exactly. And, you know, that's how, she, you know, yeah. Pierre got onto the horse. But, you know, it was no, I mean, you know, you know, she, you know, she, she rode him here in Durban. Uh, she, um, she won the model man listed yeah. on him and he's made and race and that, you know. So, you know, there's nothing sort of like, uh, oh, well, uh, you know, it's just that with that caliber of horse, we had to, you know, you know, I couldn't 
So, how did you find Pierre? You know, Pierre, no, easy. Uh, I mean, you know, well, been, I know him from yeah. way back. You know, I must be honest with you, when I saw him there, when he weighed out with, with just a little uh, a uh, um, uh, body protector on, and I, you know, and I saw the old belly there, I was a bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> but he just won a few uh, good races, I think. Yes, no, I mean, look, he's an experienced rider. I mean, no. you know, there's nobody, and you know, you know, you know he's got a uh, you know, brain and. On top, you know, you know, he's a very good judge of pace. Yeah. You must remember that. Eh? He's he's probably one of our top top riders here for many many years. Yes. You know, and he's and he's travelled and he's been overseas. So I mean, you know, knows you know a little bit about yeah. him. Well, didn't he have a ride? I mean, no, well, he was riding for he, he was riding a horse for Justin, and the horse got scratched, and that's actually when when uh, Nick phoned me and said, "Listen, we can get Pierre. Yeah. What do you think?" Yeah. You know, he had a you know uh, he was middling around for a few other names, which I was sort of like. Digging, digging my heel in the yeah, heels yeah, in a bit, yeah. to be quite honest with you. And then Pierre came available, uh, you know, then I said, right, let's go. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, you didn't write uh, 5,500 winners. Exactly, yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You know, you can't beat experience. I don't care, you yeah. know, you see it, you know, well, because... Well, unless the one, what he won would be just kept sprinting. When, how old was he? 60-something. Yes, way in the 60s, yes, yeah. yes, on Royal Academy. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. 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 Um, so Michael, let's see it again. Now you built him up nicely. He won the, the Cape Dog. Would beat Charles Dickens. Uh, I don't know if Charles Dickens stayed or you were just too good. Mm. Uh, I, well, I just think we're too good. I mean, maybe he didn't stay, but I mean, you know, this was, uh, you know, to go back to his early days. You know, he won the Model Man, and 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 Nick and Celeste was on track, and we were very excited. And I said. I think you've got a Derby horse. Yeah, and yeah. You know, he sort of looked at me and said, you're getting a bit ahead of yourself. I said, no, uh, you know, I can see there's something here. Although I did say that to him earlier on yeah. before the horse even won his maiden. I was very disappointed he got beat in Marisburg first time out. We had drawn the wrong side of the track. And the second time, uh, Rachel wasn't ready and, you know, she, and then they started to pull the gates and she, 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 uh, she came out with one foot out the irons and he only finished fourth. And then we took him to Gravel and we stepped him a trip, which he was always wanted, sure. you know. But I mean, as you know, I don't like to push my horses too early on because, you know, they must learn in the beginning. Like exactly. Yeah. Like, true, true. And uh, so uh, I was quite bullish about the derby in the back of my mind because that was really the race I wanted to win. You know, it's a group yeah. one race and, yes. you know, got status and, and everything, you know. And um, then, you know, you know, things didn't work out for us in, in, in a CT race. So, you know, when I said to Nick, I want to take him to the Cape and, you know, got three races in a prep run. Uh, the CTS race, and because he qualified for that, obviously, and the Derby will be my main ambition. And then, uh, deep down, I was, you know, I didn't, you know, let, let the horses do the talking. And um, then, all of a sudden, I heard that you know they changed their mind about Charles Dickens right. because he he wasn't supposed to run the no. Derby, you see. And then they changed them. You know, that flattened me out a bit, to be honest. And I thought, well, you know, he's. The way he won the Guineas, I haven't seen a horse like that, on, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, for a long time. And, you know, he looks so impressive, you know. So uh, that fatted me out a bit. And then, as it turned out, you know, uh, I probably think he didn't get the trip, personally, you know. But saying that, you know, Miles got a hell of a turn of speed, you know. Yes. And, you know, he finished off the race very, very well. well he, showed you know? that, he showed that in the daily news. Exactly. And, you know, so uh, I was a little bit disappointed in, um, in the Guineas. Uh, you know, because we have, you know, we had a little bit of traffic problem up the straight, and you know, and also, th you know, up the hill when you know we're we're, we're pushed wide, which you know, to me, gravel has always been when, you know, all, you know, all my experience of gravel is that up the hill, that little that that yes. 200 meters, that's vital in a race. You know, you 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 got to try and reserve yours up that hill. Most people but, don't even know that. No, they don't know, and uh, you know, I see so many jockeys pull out and come around the fields. And I thought to myself, geez, that's suicidal. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, when I was riding, uh, when I see a horse, uh, 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 the jockey do that in a race, I said, to, to tell my agent, get, you know, yeah, get yeah. me the ride get on that next time. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. and uh, so, you know, that, th that can be a little bit of a curveball, that hill, you see. So, you know, there was factors, you know, in that race that, you know, put a bit of doubt in my, you know, my mind right. that we could have, you know, we could have been very close to Charles Dickens. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but in the, going back to the, to the Daily News, I mean, um, at one stage it looked as if Pierre was really taking it easy at the back there. When, uh, it was a long way out of his ground. But you know, and, uh, uh, you know, Andrew, you, uh, you know, myself, people people always say that if you get beat, you know, I mean, even when I started, you know, I uh, when 
I used to love coming from behind and yeah. watch the opposition, you know. And uh, you must remember, it all depends on the pace of the race, you know. Uh, you know, I don't stereotype jockeys to me as, you know, people accept when you sit in the first three in a race yes. and the horse got beat. beat. Whereas, the, yes. they haven't analysed the pace, pace of the race. race. Where that was been, say, another five, six lengths yeah. better, it could have been a different result. I think Michael de Kock was, was, was trying to take you on with... Uh, What's that horse called? A funny name, Louis the was it Louis the King? Or no, no, uh, no. The Louis the King was a sire. Yes. Uh, whatever. Um, but he went to the front, set a good pace. Yes, they set they, they set a good pace. You see, and 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 you know, you know, I knew. Um, I was reading Pierre's write-ups, and you know, because I haven't spoken to him before. Then I spoke to him a couple of days before the rest. Yeah. I said, you know. You know what you said. You know what you reported. I'm not, I don't agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> that he wanted. He used to, to slow out, and he's and he's this and he's that. And you know, I said, and I said to him, please, I want you to ride my horse cold. Just leave him alone. And I mean, you know, be yes. a little bit alert, obviously. Yeah. And you know, and I said, if you've got the main horses around you within three to five lengths, they won't be this. And that's exactly what he did. Yeah, I must be honest with you, Dave the King. I didn't expect Dave him to, King, yes, to, yeah. to to to. To, to tear yeah. off like that, yeah. but the fraction of your setting, I could see. You know, he, you know, he's not a quick. He's not going to quicken in the straight yes. to get away, yeah. more, even more away. And you know, I'll, uh, during the race, I looked around. You know, I've got cousin Casey there, and I've got with that question in front of us. Yeah, no I race. Say, yes, unless you know something is wrong with my horse. Yeah. You know what I mean on yeah. the day, and you know. And he won. He won a good race. I no, thought he I won. He I, won with, well, I thought he won with authority. I think so too because I think um, Pierre hardly pulled the stick on no, him. No, he, he no, was no, no. Well, he, you know, he's a nice, sympathetic rider. Yeah. You know, you know, Pierre. Well, he knows what he's got under uh, him. Yeah, and you know, I, you know, when he watched Pierre, you know, I think he puts a lot of confidence into us when he rides it. You know, when he starts picking them up. You know, but you know, I thought the same. Yeah. No, I thought it was an excellent mm. one. Um, well, Dave the King, I think, is going to get the same weight as you in, in the July, and I don't mm. think he seriously saw out the 2000 so I would put that one to bed I think you've got most of the three-year-olds sort of cold yeah I would like to think so but I mean you know I remember Andrew you, you've, you've been in the game a long time the July is a different race eh? yeah well they're trying the to knock you over don't the come, you know the pace is sometimes you know they can crawl and otherwise they can go flat out you know there's there's a lot of factors you know that you could consider yeah. in the July you know? uh, if we get a clean on race and yes then how, how important is it would, would the, the draw be to you Want to draw wide in the middle? No, I must be honest with you. Uh, I've always been one, you know. I want, to, I want to be as close to the fence as possible. That's okay. the shortest way. Huh? All right. uh, I know Jockey's complained being drawn one or, you know, or something like this. Pierre said to me the other day, oh, you know, if you get a chance, trying to get draw eight or ten, eight yeah. to ten, you know. Yeah. And I said to him, well, I think six rather. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's you know. I don't think you want to race wide in a July. Although you've seen, I mean, I, I think the last few years, all no, all the July yeah. winners just come from the, yeah, the you know, staying out of trouble. You, yeah, you can get in trouble in the, you know, in ex, you know, especially when you jump out for the first four hundred meters. You know, you know, people are going for positions and yeah. you know. Uh, yeah. So, but I mean, you know, I don't want to be drawn wide. I'm sorry. I, you know, you know, if I get it from, from middle in, you know, yeah. I'll be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, older horses? Have you, have you looked through the field? I, I have sort of had to look at them. Uh, you know, you know, it's the diffi difficult to weigh them up. Look, you know, obviously they got more experience. You know, Miles is still has only run, you know, sure. nine times. You know, he's and he's, he's still a baby. Uh, I don't know. To be honest, with you. but he's deceptively uh, big. I mean, I, I was talking to David Thistleton on on Saturday. He he said on TV he doesn't look all that impressive, but in the flesh he's. Outstanding, he's a nice, big, oh, strong yeah. horse. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, he's lean. You know, you know, you know, he's not a big robot horse, but he's he's sixteen, one and a half. That's it. He's uh, he's a good size, and you know, to me, the horse is still on up. To be quite honest with you, yeah. in my mind, you know, I mean, look, I've never had a caliber. You know, I've had some some decent horses. You know, sprinters, and also uh, West Coast Gold was a very good horse. That's one of the first ones you had. Eh? Yes, yes. Yeah. He, you know, he won the Dahlia, Dahlia Arabia on you know on July okay, day and. Yeah. And my jockey got injured, and and uh, uh, um, Slechte, who won yeah. the race on I think on on I can't think of the other field spring horse on the day, and uh, you know he, you know he rode him in a dog. He picked the rider and said, "Geez, I think this could have won the <laughs> July as well." You know, he oh, was really? a yeah. you know, he won the Michael Roberts. You know, he was a decent horse, uh, but you know, to me in my mind, the horse is still on up. Right.
and and the, the prep has gone uh, pretty. Yeah, touch smoothly. wood. Everything you know so far. You know we've you know uh, you know I'm fortunate enough. Like you know Rachel ride him every day for me, and you know she, she loves she loves the horse. I mean full stop. And she's she rides him, and you know um, we go through his work program. He's you know at the moment he's he pulled up well. He's fresh. He's full of himself. Yeah. So uh, you know uh, you know still. You know, you're working with animals, eh? Yeah, so yeah. just remember that. No, but it's nice, but I mean, I was, when was the last Natal trainer to, to win the July? I don't know. I think I was in the, in the UK. I, 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 I think it, it may, people, uh, somebody was telling me the other day, I think it could have been Ricky Maingard. Yeah, well, he won with Space Space, space, War, yeah, space War, and, yeah, and yeah. he won on, uh, by default, yeah. Was, yes, I yeah. think so. I think so. I don't really know, yeah. I mean, yeah. the only one I'd before that that I can remember is, you know, is Dennis Dryer. On that yeah. was uh, of, of Robbie uh, Shame Road. Yes, right, uh, you know, for 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 uh, I think for Mary Slack. Mary Slack and, and yes, uh, and the red, red yeah. yes, red yeah. colours. Mm. Yes. Um, yeah, because we also I was going back. It's eleven years since since the South Africa uh, local trainer won the the Daily News. Um, oh really? I didn't Gavin know. Gavin Van Zale, the Apache. Oh, oh the Apache. Okay. Yeah. 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 Morning, morning, Clader. Morning, Clader. Okay. morning, Clader. Morning, Clader. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, so we, yeah. We, we, we're holding thumbs for, for local lads. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's, it's you know, it'd be pressure, a very... the pressure get to you? No, I must be honest with you. You're going greyer. Yeah, well, <laughs> I've been grey for a long time. At least you've got some thatch on top. No, you know, the, you know, the pressure for me was, was you know, you know I, I set my heart out uh, not to get my horse 110% right for the for the for the daily news, yes. but the daily news was a very important race yes. to me. You know, it was, uh, uh, you know, it's also a nice race for horses future to win, yeah. and you know, you know, the good horses, the good three horses that has won the daily news, and that was, uh, you know, that you know, really that, you know, if you know, it was if, encouraging that that, that Pierre said that he still thought there was some meat on the bone there for. For the July. Yeah, so, they don't. Yeah. No, no, he wasn't. He wasn't. You know. Uh, you know. We 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 left a bit of a uh, bit in the tank. You know. Yeah. And because you know he's running his own own age group, and I know how good he is, and so I didn't have to be crazy. Uh, yeah. You know. You yeah. know to get him. Oh, but I mean, you know, that was a very important race for me to win. To be honest, with you. and I, for, for personal, for my personal. <laughs> Uh, uh, personal yeah. as a trainer, and you know, I was, I was, you know, that gave me a lot of satisfaction. Yeah. That and way. the stress of having a July favourite. What if it happens? Yeah. It happens. What yeah. can we do? Oh well, you've ridden it up. Eh? I, see, exactly. I, see the, 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 I see the derby on Saturday. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And you nearly won it. We nearly won it. Yes. <laughs> I remember a friend of mine was in London at the time, and uh, uh, he said, "Oh, that's the derby." He was yes. walking past a betting shop, and he said, "Oh, we'll have a look." And he said, "Oh, there's Michael. Oh, yes. We've got it back, South Africa." Five hundred to one. Five hundred to <laughs> one. He took. He took. He took fifty pounds on, 50, on, on yes. you for place. <laughs> place really yeah. is. Yes, yes. Yeah. What horse yes. was it? Terry Mon. Terry Mon. For right. Clive Britton. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. And I now, see uh, uh, Daniel Mustard. Uh, Musket's got a yes, ride he's got year. a very good ride. As, uh, you know, um, you know, um, he's been WhatsApping me, and you know, uh, you know, he's probably going to phone me about the derby. He wants to ask me a couple of questions, but no, it, it'll be great. And he's it is riding so well. Jeez, he unbelievable! Is. Yeah. I was watching him the other day. You know, you know, you know, he's really holding his own. as nice. You know, I mean, especially as he's managed to keep his weight in check. Yes, I because he's, he's quite a, a tall lad. Yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, you know, um, uh, you know, like you know, I speak, you know. Uh, you know, you know, you know, communicate sometimes with with William Agus, you know, yeah. and you know, you know, he thinks a lot of about about him as well, you know. Oh, so why they are, yeah, yeah, so that's a good lad, good South African boy, or was he Zimbabwean? Yes, <laughs> Zimbabwean. <laughs> Michael, thank you very much for for coming and talking about. Uh, no problem. See you again. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole of the the country, I think, will be here. Yes, yeah, so, you know, you well, home. you know, you know, you know, must you know must say you know for KZN, you know. Like I say, you know, it's, you know, I mean, this is yeah, my, I suppose my it's province. A, it's a bit parochial, being, but uh, no, we all, we all proud we, of Kazanian. Yeah, you, know, uh, you know, I think we've got a serious horse for the July, so, and, uh, you know, let, you know yeah, let's hope. It'll be hope. lovely. It'll be, no. You know, it'll be lovely for the province and for the people, you know, and I must say, yeah. you know, the people have been so nice about it. I mean, yeah. really, it's, it's unbelievable. And you've got one of the best jockeys on board, so let's hope. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. Right, Michael, let's right. do some, uh, hang on a second, Wait, I just, uh, <laughs> just got to do some uh, homework here for the, yeah. um, just to make sure that you do card call, still going, um, it's, it's every, I think it's every hour we, we do a, 
you can take a pick. It's, it's almost like poker. Uh, so red, black, odds, evens. Have a go. Put your money down. Let me see. Go. Then we got soccer ten uh, and soccer six. Uh, people have been making good money on that. They go in with okay. two rand and come out with half a bar. Jeez. Just got to pick the right, <laughs> the right soccer team. <laughs> They're obviously not backing Manchester United, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got the Punters Challenge. Um, so have a go at that. It's, it's all, all on the Gold Circle website. And uh, hopefully you can make some money. And we thank Michael Roberts once again. Thanks, Max, for coming in. Um, we appreciate it. And once again, we're holding thumbs. Thanks, Andrew. Okay, and uh, Warren's not here. Bye-bye, <laughs> Warren. Uh, you're out of it. <laughs> and we'll see you once again. Oh, we've got a big race meeting on, at Scottsville on Saturday. Uh, yes, we've well, got it's the, the, the sprints there. And very good racing, eh? Very good I racing. I was looking through the car this morning. Unfortunately, we only got one runner, runner but, you know, he was a good, was, it was a good two-year-old, good traveller. Yeah. In, um, in a, in, in, he in likes Scottsville. He li you know, early on, I was looking at his form. He has done well there, you know, and, you know, the handicap is, uh, you know, is eventually dropped me a few pounds yeah. uh, you know uh, five points which you know he's been carrying big weights so now 54 on his back he you know who knows you know if he comes back to his form he must have, he a, must have a chance he yeah. must have a squeak yeah. yes. but i was it's, it's encouraging that the fields the, the races have attracted really good fields this year very good i think it's a lot of quality it's going yeah. to be quality racing yeah. Yeah. the whole day through you know yeah. the two-year races and the Phillies, even the Phillies sprint, Phillies that's going to be very interesting. Yeah. And then, of course, the, you know, the big the sprint, horse, the yeah. Golden Horse, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we will see you at Scottsville, I think. If, you, if you're interested in racing, make the trip. There's also a bus, I think uh, Graham Hawkins is, is uh, hosting a bus. Uh, I don't know if it's full or not. Punters Express. The Punters Express. Well, it's 150 runs, I think, for, for it there and back. That's which cheap. is good value. As far as Especially point. with the price of petrol these yeah. days. <laughs> Tell me when I go up there. Uh, the, the trouble is you've got Hawkins ch chatting in your ear. You never no, know what's going to happen. You won't have a nap. Eh? <laughs> okay, well, well, that's it for us. Uh, that's a wrap. And uh, we'll see you in the number one box. But thanks to, to Senzo and Apiwe uh, for, for putting everything together. Thank you for watching this week's episode of In the Box Seat Podcast right until the very end. We hope that you enjoyed it because we certainly did. If you missed last week's podcast, In the Box Seat Podcast with Andrew and myself, please go and watch it here. And uh, last week's uh, episode will be right there for you to go and enjoy and watch as uh, we know you will certainly enjoy In the Box Seat Podcast from last week. <laughs>